Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Legends of Rune Terra Lab of Legends. The League of Legends roguelike deck builder, effectively. Uh, completely free to play in the Legends of Rune Terra client. But alas, I do not want to sound like an ad. I just, re I just really, really, really like this. Uh, what do we want to play today? Let's go with... Uh, a wise choice. A wise choice. I mean, he just told me it's a wise choice. So let's go with Heimerdinger. Let's uh, unbench the dinger. What do we got here? So, his main thing, when you cast a spell, create a fleeting turret in hand with an equal cost. So basically, he looks super wild and complicated, but whenever we cast a spell, we get the uh, the turret that matches it to, uh, to play for free. Or, I mean, it's free that turn. Oh yeah, we can play it that turn. Uh, so other than that, what else do we have here? Create in hand an exact copy of a random spell from the enemy's deck. That's that's something. Uh, how many of these units... So U, 5, 6, 7, 8, all of those have more than 5 power. Attack, raise my power to match my health. Uh, so that uh, raise our attack to match our HP. There's not a lot of situations where that's that usable, that good. I mean, uh, well... Wait, no. We want the reverse. <laughs> we want to match uh, We want to match our HP to our uh, our attack in all of these scenarios. Uh, so I get... Well, I guess that we have that option. Attack. Raise my health to match my power. Uh, yeah, for all of the turrets, that seems a little bit more usable. Uh, that helps us with the pickpocket, I guess. But yeah, uh, turning this 5-1 into a 5-5, five, five, the 6-1 into a 6-6, six, six, the 7-1 into a 7-7, seven, seven, that all seems really, really nasty in a good way. When I attack, raise my health to match my power. Anywho, let's pop on in here and see what we can get. What kind of dirtiness we can get up to. All right. What do we want in a starting hand? Because Heimerdinger's kind of expensive. That's that's the truth. He's a kind of an ex expensive lad at five mana. I feel like we can take Thermogenic Beam because you spend all of your mana to deal that much damage to a unit. Uh, they're going to drop a one cost right away, so we can use it to deal damage to the one cost. Eh, may maybe we keep Heimerdinger as kind of like a contingency plan here for if we get to... Okay, now this is this is it. This will help us here. This too. Both of those are going to be really handy. All right. So, because I don't want to take any damage. That's the thing. Like, we're, I'm going to be a little bit silly. I don't want to take any damage because if I hit end turn, then he could get one free damage on me. And that's, of course, something that's going to last until the boss. I'm going to turn up the sound effects just a little bit. I tried to, uh, tried to take it down a little bit. Okay, so we could put down the scrap scuttlers. What's so wait. Attack, raise my health to match my power. So ahead? in theory, shouldn't we raise our HP up to three, even if we're losing, like if we're missing this HP here? Here. Take from the rich, give to me. Let's go for it. I want to see what does that work how I think that is so good all right let's thermo beam maybe we'll get lucky maybe he does not have anything else here I feel like he has a spell to attack this here uh you know what whatever bring it on so is that permanent now like could we heal up even more yoink Create and hand an exact copy of a random spell from the enemy's deck. Okay. If an ally died this round, summon through spiderlings. We certainly, certainly could. Let's throw down these scrap scuttlers, because then we can sacrifice one to get this crawling sensation. Ah, you jerk. I'm going to mystic shot this. I think that's more important, because I don't have anything to block this. Because it's fearsome. We need a three attack unit to block a fearsome unit. So we're just going to say, you know what? Whatever. We'll go for this. 
We're going to be able to raise our HP back up anyways. Is this enough, though? Three, four, five. We've got enough. In theory, they don't have any... Uh, I don't think they have anything that can stop us here. They probably have Withering Whale. Is this copy something in their hand? No, it's copy in their deck. So maybe they don't have Withering Whale on them. Discard a card. Fine. Let's go for it. Go big or go home, right? Just drop it. Ah, oh, you jerk. Ah, you big jerk. He doesn't have Withering Whale, but he has uh, another thing that'll deal... Uh, heal him up there. It's all right. It's fine. We're, so we don't win this turn. Okay. We'll win next turn instead. I'm really just banking on him not playing that fearsome spider again. Create a six plus cost spell and reform or and uh, refill your spell mana. We'll go for that so that we can just end up playing this. Give it all. Raise all all allies' power to HP to the highest power or health among allies and grant them all all of the keywords. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Summon them all. Summon them all. There it is. There's the stinker. Uh, this could have been... A colossal disaster. If we didn't have this. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to take three damage. Obviously, like, I wish I could utilize this heal uh, aspect here, but, you know, tis what tis. All right. We got the dinger. Do we just do it? The <laughs> we could raise them all up to... Raise them all up to 1-3. To Alright, let's try this out. We'll, we'll put down the dinger. Now we will try and go for the gambit here of just getting the free damage. Okay, they're just letting you through. Otherwise, we were going to get a turret in our hand anyways. So that would have been pretty handy. But alas, alas, doesn't matter. Next. Thank you. Next. All right. What do we get for a choice here? Ah, that's right. Our support. Okay. So what is our thing? Our thing is raise our HP to match our attack. Uh huh. Level up when you've dealt 35 plus damage. I don't even know what Sivir does. While I'm attacking, attacking allies have my keywords. That's pretty good. So she has quick attack and spell shield. That's kind of interesting. She can go up to be a 5-5. Five five. Shen is probably the one I'm, I'm least interested in right now. Quinn does not have, like, a lot of value. Valor can turn into a 2-2. Two, two. This Ranger sounds kind of nice, but I'm going to go with Sivir because she's a new card. Like, she's been added to the game very, very recently, and I've actually never used her before. Reputation. I cost zero. Countdown to one. So... This will slowly tick down from, uh, from what? What, what's the, what's the counter? Count on one, oh, from one, literally just one. Create two lucky finds. Pick a buff from among us to, uh, grant to an ally, okay. All right, we work with that. I didn't even look at what the other things were. Reputation, I cost three. Reputation is new. If you've, if allies have struck for five plus damage at least four times this game, deal one damage to a random, random enemy or the enemy nexus five times. It's it's a very expensive card. So yeah, if you don't get that reputation cost, that seems like it's gonna be kind of terrible. <laughs> so if we can look for ways to uh, in the future to buff up more reliable cheap units to five attack i think that that would be a good thing to go for 
Like, we, we, we don't want it. That much I know. Um, do we want this Sanctum? Reputation, I cost zero. See, that's the thing, is... That's not good for us yet. Getting Sivir out would be, uh, would be very, very useful. I feel like that's definitely, like, the most important thing for us at the moment. Okay. You name it, I'll nick it. I really don't want to block this. I really would rather not block this. It's too damaged to potentially get much better board presence. Okay. Okay. We have... Ah. Uh, we're silly. No, we shouldn't have done it. I should have I should have attacked right away and then covered my butt with Mystic Shot or something. This is fine. I'll, I'll, I'll go for the trade now instead. All right. All right, I regret it. Congratulations. I, uh, I regret my choice. It's fine. It's just three damage. It's three damage. So, I'm like, I'm obviously excited about the idea of putting down Sivir, but I am actually in a, I'm actually in a bad spot. What is her, her I mean, yeah, her special card is, is, is freaking shape. Of course it is. That makes sense. Um, I put down Sivir. I trade. I have to trade her with one of the miss rates, or we take eight damage. That's a lot. We could put down Sivir to do that trade, so that next turn we can Heimer Dinger. No, we can't do Heimer Dinger and Mystic Shot. Yeah, we we we've just got a very slow, slow, slow build going on right now. We're going to take a much more annoying large amount of damage than I really, really should be taking. Like, I have to block this, and it's such a bad trade. It's such a bad trade, but I can't... I just can't take that damage. Getting Sivir out on my turn feels important. Because we have, we have a quick attack here. So she turns into a 5-5 five, five with quick attack. We will kill anybody immediately who comes to attack us. And then now we are, have a 5-5. Five, five. When an ally dies, refill your spell mana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, Ricochet might be good enough. We could get very, we could get very lucky with Ricochet. Uh, but we need to put down something. And that's just what it is. We, like, we'd have to get, we'd have to get lucky. Uh, let's do this, because it's free. Progress day. Boy, I would love to next turn. These trash monsters. He's not going to attack with the Tortured Prodigy, because then I could just get such a free block. The, the likelihood that this goes well is very low. So I shall, I shall chump wump. He is doing that That's trade. All. Okay. All right. Well, we have to take this five. All right. I think we're fine next turn. I think we can scrounge up lethal somehow very soon here. The fact that we get to go back up to full HP if you don't kill, yes, thank you very much. It's very important. Uh, all right. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? This is not great. Uh, beans. All right. Well, we'll get a turret. 
that we get to play in addition to these two scrap scuttlers, which are just going to be free damage. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Alright. That ain't happening, but maybe next turn we can... Uh... Shoot. Probably shouldn't have attacked with that, huh? We might be able to get lucky with Ricochet. If he is, if he doesn't play a unit, which obviously is unrealistic, for sure. Oh, thank you. Alright. So we can play this... We can play this in combat. We cannot play this in combat. This is not going to be great. Like, we just... I really want you to hit over there. Oh! Oh, dang. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, Yeah, yeah. We, we, we lucked out there. I would say we lucked out there. If you let me play this... Oh... Uh, so this is fearsome. They're both fearsome. I literally, like, it's either I take six damage or I sacrifice myself here. I would absolutely prefer to sacrifice myself. This is fine. Uh, and we will show what is pretty silly about uh, the choices we we picked here. Silly in a good way this time. Oh, man. It's the next turn we would be able to turn this into a 6-6 six, six and a 2-2. Two, two. However... This is this is just a free win. That's five damage. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Well, fine. That did not go nearly as clean as I would have liked. We need to find a way to speed up this deck. We need to find a way to speed it up a lot. Because our champions, both of our champions are not cheap. Last Breath Rally. I mean, that's pretty fun. But I feel like a minus cost is kind of like exactly what I'm talking about here. We need to play earlier on Curve. Uh, making her a three cost. This is... This, these are so cool. Oh, these are so cool, though. Oh, my God. Lich's Bane on Heimer. Oh, it sounds so fun. But I feel like I got to get the cost down. Reduce my cost by one for each time an ally's attack. Give my supported ally elusive. Okay. That's a that's a tool. That's certainly a tool for us to utilize. Okay. I'm with it. 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 So, okay. So, Sivir is indeed cheaper. I feel like... Fine, I'll take a Scrap Scuttler. I will take a Scrap Scuttler. We don't have anything for turn one. I'm pretty sure he will. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. I do have Get Excited to... to wipe something out if I want it. For this situation, putting down two chump blockers is actually probably going to be good enough. Uh, blocking this entirely is, is going to be helpful. And then next turn, we do get to play our Sivir. If we want, and I think I will want, I think I will want. Yep. Being able to play on three mana is good because we always start with the attack token. So a three mana card, a, an aggressive three mana card is better than an aggressive four mana card for us. Since we play her, we get to play her on our turn, meaning we get to use her, her to her fullest there. Okay. All right. I, I'm fine with that. That's a decent enough start. This is going to be really annoying. When that guy dies, he comes back at the start of every turn now. Oh, it's... It's not great. Just need to block. 
Oh, screw you. This is a no -fly zone. Oh, screw you. This puts us in a fine spot, though, for next turn. Because reminder that we do heal back up to 30 at the end of this uh, at the end of this fight. It's a living. There's a chance. There's a chance we just win right now. There's actually a chance we just win right now. Because he can't block with that. He played Thresh. We win. Oh my god. Oh my god, we win. Oh my god. Direct damage right now. He, he had one mana. Maybe he would have had a way to save himself in his hand, but oh, we got lucky there. All right. Now we can reset our momentum. We can hopefully uh, get ourselves a nice upgrade that'll help out our our early, early game. The time that like ramps us up to getting Heimerdinger. Your created cards cost one less. Um, uh, Flash of Brilliance, it helps us with that. Lucky find is already zero. I uh, mushroom clouds become a zero cost. These always cost. These always cost zero on the first turn. Create a copy. So uh, this is tempting. When you summon a unit, grant it fury. It is a dragon. That's definitely not bad either, but I, I guess I'm going to go with either Wild Inspiration or a full reroll here. I'm going to go with a reroll. These are all commons. I feel like we can do something better. Round Start Rally, meaning we get to we get the attack token on the enemy's turn now, too. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to draw a champion. What? Create in hand a two cost card from your regions. It costs zero this round. This works well with Heimer. It's not bad. If it didn't have ephemeral, this would be broken with what we've got, but fine. I'll, I'll take this. It works it works well with Heimer. It gives us um it gives us multiple multiple spells to cast there. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, fine, okay. I guess I'll take you. Siver. But yeah, getting the attack token on the enemy's turn with the uh, the thing we have that lets us raise our HP to our attack is so nice. So nice. I'll take one damage. It's fine. If I thought that we would be able to attack that turn, then it'd be a different story, but we couldn't. Also, yeah, get, getting that rally token is going to be really good for that, um, that thing where we need to attack for... Okay. Attack four times with five uh, five attack units. All right, let me let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Son of a gun, man. You are driving me crazy. The trap is set. Oh. My god. <laughs> All right, so we have five mana. I'm putting you down to block something. Yeah, of course, of course he's going to attack with everything there. Of course he is. Of course you are. I want to protect Sivir. It's important to me, I think. It's important to me. I'll take one damage again. We do, unfortunately, leave this on the field, but hopefully... <laughs> it's 
it's a li it's a living. Hopefully, we get to attack this turn now. Enemy. Business as usual. All right. Uh, finally. Okay, we finally buffed up our HP to five. That's important for me. I think that's very, very useful. So whoever we put down should probably have... Uh, we could go for the chump wump and try and go for an attack before he goes for an attack. That's an idea. Because he's probably going to play something, right? He's probably going to play something. Before he attacks. Oh, screw you. Just... Make it worth my while. He did play something before his attack. It was just uh Okay, well let's let's fish for a, a direct removal. Give enemies minus two, minus zero, round end, deal two damage to me. That's a wildly specific thing for us um i wish it was minus three Here's your cut. do we just i think we do this trade because i feel like i just i can't let myself take seven damage uh if i play this i could i could basically be playing seven a seven mana card so that we save you which normally i feel like is way too expensive and stupid like, if this would save Sivir, I would do it in a heartbeat. Uh, man, I'm so... That's so such a bummer that we didn't get to attack first. Uh, we have four mana. What else are we going to do with our mana if we don't do this? That's, that's really my question. What else would we do with our mana? Fine. Fine. What else would I do with it? We could take the five damage to the face, but I... Again... This is the first fight of the second section that we have a uh, we have a lot of fights ahead of us, so I don't think that that makes any sense. Uh, and we do get four free damage, and and he turns into a four four, so sure. Four four, so sure. All right, do we finally uh, get Heimer up in here? Finally, do it. Let's do it. Give me a snow hair. Thank you. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> this should give us a turret. Not a very good one, but a turret nonetheless. I've seen you summon 12 turrets. Oh, jeez. Oh, that ain't good. But if he gets to go, he gets to kill... He gets to kill the dinger. Uh, yeah, that, that hurts. Um... I'm wondering if it makes some sense to just attack with all of these. If we get them down, trading you to a 3-1 is kind of a bummer, but then you would die to Heimer. Uh, you would die to Chump Wump. And the other one either gets to do free damage on the Wording Stone or free damage to the Nexus. This is stupid-ish. It's, it's, it's tactical stupidity. Because this dying to the Chump Wump may make him not want to attack with it. And this dying to Heimer, he's probably still going to want to do it. But but that helps. That does help. Okay, so here's the big thing. I really want to... Holy. I want to do this. <laughs> um... Because we get to summon a T-Rex, basically. Right? 
Thermo Beam at 8 means, yep, we do get the T-Hex. The question is, will we get to play with it this turn? And the answer is clearly a no. But here's the thing. That's fine. We can work with this. We can work with this. The only thing that can counter me is the Enraged Yeti. And I'm fine with that trade. That speeds up the board clear a little bit. I'm I'm kind of like I'm kind of okay with it, I guess. Yeah. All right, bring the HP up is really really nice. Is this? No, we can't can't quite do that yet. Give my ally elusive. That's now that's fun. <laughs> that's a fun. You don't have anything? Take from the rich, give to me. Really? Okay, if you don't have... Well, I guess you only have one card in your hand. You did, uh... You really went for it. Ocean call. Okay, so theoretically you cannot be blocked, so we get to do the eight damage. All right. And then we get a kill with Ricochet because we attacked with another five-cost unit in the form of the T-Hex. Cool. We take those, we take those. It was a little grim for a minute, but only a minute. <laughs> only a minute. It was grim for a little bit. It was grim for a little bit. I cannot deny. Now we're on Scar Grounds, aren't we? When I'm summoned, create a Dragon's Protection in hand. So uh, a 6-2, meaning we could turn him into a 6-6. Six, six with relative ease is really nice. It's I, I think it's that or we re-roll. Take it. 3-3, three, three, but he's ephemeral? Meaning he dies at the end of the turn. That's so bad. Attack, nab one. That means we get to steal the card. I This is a hot re-roll for me. Uh, this sucks as well. This is really bad. These are all terrible. All right. Minus one cost. And we will also add an additional copy. So that being a two mana six, two, that gives us a, a that gives us that, I guess, is, is really nice. I hate that we used all our rerolls. Don't get me wrong. But boy, those, um. Those were some terrible, terrible choices. Those were not, not good choices for us. So, Scar Grounds. What counters Scar Grounds? Aggro. Having high attack. And that is uh, good news because that's kind of our jam here. Want to pull my... Oh, wow. We have so many copies of that two drop, but I didn't get them anyways. You hate to see it. All right, so we can uh, we can use get excited. I'm gonna do thermo beam for this though, because it is a slow spell. This we can use to counter in combat, which I think is going to be more important for us. All right, all right, all right. Good stuff. Good stuff. You should not have anything in your deck that can make that guy counter this. You should not have any deck that makes this guy counter this. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't. I thought that cost two mana. Oh my god. The fact that we have first strike actually screwed us over so bad there. All right. Yeah, this is this is now a situation of how how do we how do we corral this? Because we if I could get this down and then we attack, that'd be a different story. God, I really thought this was a two mana. I thought it was a two mana buff him up zero three. Uh, boy, shows what I remember. Uh, uh scrap scudlers. I can't really picture a world where that's going to be super usable. It's very disappointing. That is very disappointing. 
Of course he had it in his hand, too. You always gotta assume that they have that. Okay, well that's cool. Drawing two of those is pretty nice. I I mean, he's going to counter with that, who will then go down to 5-2, but with tough, and then we can use Get Excited to counter it, and there should be no reason why he gets to... No one else? There should be no reason why he gets to protect himself here. I don't really need that. And then I think we, if... If we have the option, we, we go for the attack literally the first thing on their turn. Uh, it's you know, hoping that they play a unit that... Okay, that is a that is a good unit for us to have to deal with. Uh, cause it, it's important that we do this attack now because that puts us up back to 6 HP. It's just too useful. Alright. We are going to have to take damage, but the good news is it's only two. It's fine. That's fine. All right. This is a useless card for a lot of situations. All right. Just step one. Get in there while we can make sure that we get our HP buff. That's that's really the thing that'll let us continue to have success here. Alright. Alright. Jump one. Sure. Alright, just getting a couple things to uh, to defend ourselves from these ruthless raiders. A reminder what Scar Grounds does, by the way. When an ally survives damage, grant plus one attack and tough. Okay. The mana would go to no use if we didn't use it there, so. Alright. It's not as urgent that we immediate attack here now. Oh, baby. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Just another winter. Or is it? We need to be the we need to be the aggressor here. And if we don't attack now, then he's going to attack. It's it's very important that we do this in this order. And we can't attack with this because then he'll block with that and it becomes even ta more terrifying. He has one mana, but he has no cards. So we should get, we should be able to get away with this. Um, the thing is, yeah, that's the problem. The problem is then he gets to play his turn. Um, I think I just take the three damage. I think it's the best we can really expect. But then we just go all in, all aggro. All right. So yeah, this is planting poison puff caps, making it so whenever they draw a card, there's a chance for it to be poisoned, and uh, they take damage. But most importantly, I was just putting myself in this, trying to put myself in this spot where we can go all in. Hey, we got lucky. Two free damage. Ready for the fight. Boo it. Nice. That's good enough. That's good enough. I think we can do the last fight of this section with uh with this much hp it's a little scary it's a little scary weirdly enough i think one of the easier fights in the whole path or the whole game is the final one kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to give all enemies minus two attack wow uh give an ally plus one and quick attack this round. Oh. Give an ally plus two this round. Create a fleeting. So actually, this is a three mana plus four. 
I feel like this is going to be more useful, though. Getting that quick attack in as well is super handy. Oh my, we can make it cost zero. We could literally make it cost zero. And we would get an extra copy. I feel like this is the way to go. That is really, really, really handy. Zero cost. Heal our Nexus 3 so we have nice sustain uh, over the course of the run. That's a, that's a way to make ourselves stronger outside of each match, too, you know? Because we can restore back up to 30. All right, what do we got? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Not great, but fine. All enemies get plus one, plus one, you stinker. Uh... Do we just block both? scrap scuttlers or do we trade off in a way where we actually get a kill this we take zero damage but kill nothing this we take two damage but kill one this we take two damage but kill one if I knew that I would be able to get to attack and raise our HP to three I would go for that but Yeah, I mean, this is just a, uh, we're one mana shy of having the complete answer. I'll take two damage. Yake. All right. All right. Thermo beam. That's actually fine. So we can drop this. We can turn it into a 3-3. Three, three. We have Thermo Beam. If we... Oh, okay. Really? Ooh, boy. Okay, but that's only for this round. So I guess I just say, okay, you wasted it. I mean, it could have been bad. These draws are, uh, they ain't it. Okay. We kind of need to save the two mana for the Mystic Shot here. Because otherwise, if we can't handle this guy, we are in a terrible spot. Oh, granted, top ally. That is going to be so annoying. Oh, boy. This is, uh... This be gross. Oh, you're training. Okay. I, I guess I don't blame you, I suppose. I just am surprised. These are not what I need. These are absolutely not what I need. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Let the flames take you. Oh my god. What you take. I saved some for you, Sejuani. This is actually insane. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, yep, I'm flying. These both have overwhelm. Like, are you kidding me? not that big of a it's not that good of a move but the move i got right uh Can't fly if you don't oh hell They'll never feel the cold. this is this is a no fly zone this is wretched drawing literally no champions at all up to this point is pain incarnate like i could not really imagine a worse worse draw so far I don't want to play those yet. I want to save my mana. 
Oh my god. This needs to be an amazing spell, whatever it is. It's a good spell, but it is... It literally... This is... Oh my god. This is wretched. Oh my god. I, I'm pretty mad about this. <laughs> Uh, the fact that they both have overwhelm means that we don't really have a we don't really have a tool for this. That that draw is just so bad. Okay. Um. Ouch! 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 Plus two. Plus two. Plus three. Plus three. Overwhelm. Plus one. Plus one. Can we not? Can we not with it? Not to mention this is uh. This is coming up. I feel like we have to just flash a brilliance and hope that next turn we have all the answers, which we, I can't really picture that happening. Yeah, it's another overwhelm. We, we literally just can't. We literally just can't. With the, with the draws we got, the, the two mana 6-2 guy that we have, that we have apparently a lot of in our deck, we apparently don't have a lot of in our deck. Otherwise, you'd think we'd... Christ. You can't outrun me. Here's your cut. If these had three mana or three HP instead, th th there's just so many situations where we are just slightly screwed here. Like, just this, uh, the one one endure enemy power here. That is just. That is, was just enough to really screw us in a lot of these spots, which is obviously the point. Like, this is not here to be a pushover. Uh, but holy. Nothing personal. If we if we could have one shot and one shot, it would have been... I think we would have... We Still, we st still would have died. We still would have died. So it's like, it's fine, but whatever. Just whatever. Spread it out. Here, all of you get a, all of you get a shot. Y'all gonna feel the pain. Oh, that's, that's so disappointing. I mean, what are you gonna do when he drops that, that 9-10 or whatever, 9-8 on the field on turn four? What else are you going to do? Of course you're going to die if you don't have any draw. Like, we have... I don't know how many of these we had in our deck, but the fact that we didn't get any of them, kind of a problem. Sivir did not show up until the very, very end when uh, it was not useful anymore. Yeah, that's... Uh, that was just... Looking at my deck, I think we drew ev exactly everything we wouldn't have wanted. So that's a... That is disappointing for sure, but that's the thing, though. You got you to gotta make your deck good enough across the board so that if you get bad draws, you're still fine. That's what deck builders are, are all about. It's, it's mitigating RNG. Like, there's obviously RNG in every deck builder. Uh, everything like, you know, every CCG, every deck builder. There's, there's some element of RNG because you're, like, innately rolling a die... Uh, flipping a coin, whatever. Like every single time you draw a card, you are you are taking an RNG chance. But the, what makes these interesting and makes it so there there is skill involved uh, in the drafting is, and obviously, like we could, I, I'm sure we could have played that in a way where we would have won it. You know, like had we known exactly what was coming in their hand actually i don't even think so i don't even think so i don't think we had a way to win that with the draw we had uh but what it's all about mitigating that rng making it so on your on your fights where you draw terrible you still have a fighting chance 
Uh, this Aeronaut, by this point in the game, not doing, not doing it. Uh, Intrepid Mar <laughs> Mariner. <laughs> I think I used them once. The pickpocket is fine. Like, this is the thing. We, we probably had, like, four of these in our deck, and we didn't draw any of them, which is so sucky. That 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 is a that is the biggest problem, um, just rough stuff. But that is that that is gonna do it here for today. They're not all gonna be wins. They're not all gonna be wins. It's okay. We're doing our best. But that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. Let me know if you want more of Lab of Legends. If so, let me know what champion you want me to play as. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.